Today's the day, are you coming? Are you I'm sick of being normal, I'm sick of being average I'm sick of being mortal, I'm about to be a savage I see a lot of things that I want, I will have them I got a new mindset that I just established on my Okay, you beautiful passengers, welcome back to the back of the semi truck once again And you can tell from the thumbnail, you can tell from the title We're about to sit back and enjoy an episode of The Ghost and Molly McGee this is season two, episode 16, I believe we are on. And in the last episode, I watched a version that, well, that I was able to get a hold of. I watched the version where both of the episodes were together all in one video. That did not feel like it actually flowed quite like watching an episode of The Ghost and Molly McGee. So now I've got episode 16 here. We got the first half going to play, then we got it split off, and then the second half, we'll watch that. I'll give my two or three minutes worth of first thoughts right after the first half of the episode because, honestly, the last time I watched The Ghost of Molly McGee, which was episode 15, of course, because we're watching all these in order, it just didn't flow right. So, yeah, we're going to go back to watching it like this, and yes, I will be fully transparent. I do get my episodes sometimes a bit of a different way than going to Disney Plus and watching it there because, of course, I say this sometimes quite often. I'm not like most other reactors. I'm obviously in the back of a semi-truck, and I don't have a laptop sitting right here and a webcam right there where I'm using the webcam and screen recording everything you know, on the laptop and recording that way. Hence the reason why I don't pause and stop and all that stuff, you know, like a lot of other reactors. Um, and plus, I just like the free flow of watching it as it's happening. Um, but I have to be able to get it over here to this tablet somehow. So I do download the episodes and move them over to here. But that's when I go off. And I do sometimes, as I'm at the end of the night, I do kind of go walking around and kind of get a little bit of, you know, instead of sitting down all day inside the truck and driving, I do like to stretch my legs. And while I'm doing that, I got stuff playing on the TV on Disney Plus and kind of just go from there and kind of just, I support the show where I can, when I can. So just because I do sometimes use certain ways of getting episodes doesn't mean that I'm not supporting what shows I do enjoy. So, yes, with that said, I will shut up about that because I feel like I'm incriminating myself and we're going to watch this episode. So, with that said, I'm going to put that one in my ear, put that one in my ear and start watching this in three, two, one, and play. Smile Valley Farm. Uh -huh. Hello, family. Here you are. Yeah. Animals. You know my stomach's so hungry it's eating itself. <laughs> Why are y'all all just sitting there on your devices and stuff, goofing off? So entrancing that you forgot a game that's going to change your whole life. Oh, Smile Valley Farm. It's a game that they got all addicted to, and hence the reason why they forgot about dinner and all that stuff. I'm not a video game guy, even I'm obsessed. I've got the luscious garden ever. You uh huh? Yeah. I don't know. I don't really think <laughs> okay. it's cute, all Pete, engrossing. Yeah. You're adorable, my dude. Oh, I love you. Isn't more? More? Yes. Oh. yes it is. They're selling these minifigs at Bismarck. Okay. Now, if we scoop up all the high value minifigs before everyone else, we can flip them for huge. Really? Daryl like scheming, even when he's scheme. addicted to mm, a little money to mobile to game. <gasps> get your scheming skills from Dad. Now, hand me more. <laughs> So we're learning something new about the mom. All right. This is what happens when I fed respect the Oh no. Now Scratch is going to get addicted to it as well. Stop wiggling at me. In secret. Oh gosh. Perfect. It could never ever go wrong. Don't do things in secret, Scratch. Just enjoy things out in the open. Who cares? Not a single morning pleasant. I mean, my goodness. Back to your sleep. Talker. What else have you heard me say? Oh, you know, oh. a lot of things. 
Well, Andy, you, you got secrets, B? your brains, I'm off to be a productive... Jeez, really? 175? That's a lot of money for that thing. The most valuable pop figure I've got is like a $95 one. And that's outrageous. How are you doing? I... Rick, but she knows full well that he doesn't urinate. Yeah, you don't use the bathroom, 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 bathroom Scratch. You don't. Stuff, you understand. <laughs> That's... Oh, they're still on AOL? Addicted to that what now? Ow. Ow? Mm -hmm. This is so much How much money, money is that I stupid little figure up to Forget now? Higher education. I got something way better to teach vacation. Can you imagine? I can, and I am. I'm seeing us at Lake Really? You, lie. No, you can make that much money off of Bali, selling these figures? A private island only rich people know about. Rich people? Wow, if I miss it, my farm's just never going to feel complete, you know? Do and, and you know that Scratch has been playing it the whole time? It's different every time, and everyone And you're just making him feel guilty? Very, very good. So... It'll be a big thing to miss, but that's okay. Hey, listen to me and listen good. We oh, Scratch. I knew you've been playing all along. <laughs> she knew the whole time, huh? You sent me a request from definitely not Scratch to build a magical corn bridge. Really, Scratch? What? That's impossible. I said Definitely that not Scratch you. sent oh. you a... Do you see it? Yeah, I got it. Okay. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah, my gosh. You go, you go, goes, yeah. In happy and fire. Happy fire. <laughs> And it's over. Now that we got that I sort of feel like it's over. Yeah, it does. I used to be like, please don't play by them. The Should have listened to Daryl. So yeah. Fun little episode. Not great, not bad. Just another fun little episode. Um I did there was one scene and I'll tackle a mobile game that I play you know, here in a minute, after I get done talking about this one scene, there was something, and, oh, okay, don't worry, that was just this, that's the noise, <laughs> not that y'all even care, but still, um, there was this one scene where I saw them panning over in the basement, and it looked like there was a door in the basement, hopefully, Hopefully, I'm diligent enough to have that screen wherever I have it over here on the side. And y'all can see what I'm saying about there being a door to the side as if it looked like it was locked. And I don't know if it was like a secret door or... I don't know. It looked like it at first glance. Maybe I'm just wrong about it and maybe it's nothing. But at first glance, it did look something like that so yeah um as far as mobile games yes they can get addictive and i say mobile games because they were all playing on their tablets they were playing on the phones they were playing on the laptop so pretty much all of them are mobile games um overall i, I got maybe two games that i'm playing granted this does make me want to get a farm game and start playing that but for the most part, I literally play a quiz game with my wife. I think it's called Pop Quiz. No, not Pop Quiz. Quiz Planet. I play that one with my wife. I don't really play anybody else other than her. Now, if you're on it, by some chance you find me. I don't know if there's like a tag or anything to find people. But I don't know if you're interested in that. Leave a comment down below about it. And I'll figure out if there's a tag or something for it. And you can add me. Um, and then the other one I play is Disney Emoji Blitz. I've been playing that one for a little while. I'm like at level 100 and something. Um, I like it, but sometimes I take a couple days break from it. Um, right now I do need to get on there, get the, um, I just need to get on there and do some stuff. Um, then, I don't know, I might get a farm game though, thanks to this. Either way. Time for me to shut up. Looks like on this screenshot that I see right here, let me go ahead and do this number here, and hopefully y'all can see that. Uh, I'll just do that. There we go. It is Libby and Molly, and it looks like... No, I was going to say they're hugging, but eh, they're just there. So, I don't know. It's a Libby episode. So, three, two, one, and play.
messed it up, but that's okay. Three, two, one, and play. The Grand Gesture. Marry me, Chanel. I do not object. You know, the nature of your relationship has never been entirely clear. Yeah, well, okay, so we Thank you. Technically defined it hasn't been yet, fully clear this whole time. Tonight, at our bi weekly banana split get together at Sam's Diner. I certainly do. Thank you, Libby. Yeah, I know. I'm Listen to Scratch. Have Libby be my assistant. He's we'll help you out with not going to be very much help, but it will be good for a laugh if we listen to him. Scratch, trade you some ectoplasm for this sandwich. Hold America, keep on an empty stomach. Yeah. Dude, got that ectoplasm. Thanks, Daryl. Hey, Jean. All right. I want to understand them better. Oh, no. This is not going to turn out good. Oh. My heart. Dolly. <clears throat> Hi. I saw your basketball clock and smiley cat emojis and I knew to meet you here. How did he get there? Why don't they just use words? Shh. Yeah. Oh, repeat after me. I hate emojis. Ha. Why thou hast eyes. Ooh, boy. Ooh, boy. Okay, let's you do it, Scratch. Let's make Molly do a top 40 hit. Oh, no, not electricity. That's going to just be weird. And it grew already. A lot. Ollie, will you be my boyfriend? Oh, what's it going to say? <laughs> Ollie, you fiend. <laughs> That's funny. Oh my gosh. My fault. Birds are jerks. They Thanks are. Thanks for showing me all those trees. Yeah, they My worst fear being caught off guard by a flash mob. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like Ollie when he's that way, you know. Just. I, I don't know how to explain it. I'll think of the right Did words on the afterthoughts. His. Go ahead. What the? Oh my gosh, I forgot about that stupid little thing. Sorry, this isn't my fault. Actually, it is, but whatever. What the heck? So, does nobody else see this thing out here? Understanding is a journey. What the freaking. Oh my gosh, how? Vast, but you have shown me what it means what the to frick? be cared for, and I shall cherish that. That was so true. Ollie, I really that like was you. That weird as what it was. Be boyfriend and girlfriend. Just hold hands. Oh my goodness. And how does everyone get their electricity back on just because y'all hold hands? Whatever. I mean, uh, I don't know what to say, honestly. Um, it, it just, oh my gosh, it all just seems a little contrived. I mean, I don't even know if I'm using the word correctly. Um, but, yeah, gosh, I, I definitely gotta go, yeah. Um, I'm, it's not a bad episode, here's the worst part, it's not a bad episode. It's just an episode. That's all it is. It, it's just another little fun episode. And the problem with the episode, though, for me is I just don't care about them two being boyfriend and girlfriend. Who even cares at this point? They're trying to make this whole thing with, you know, Molly and Ollie and them being a thing and they didn't give us time to even care about Ollie to begin with. And I felt like the episodes we were getting with Ollie were really pushing in a, a yeah, if I can't, if I quit getting being tongue tied, I feel like those episodes were really pushing along for Ollie and making us feel like, hey, you know what? He's not that bad now because such as the um, turn it ball game. I like that episode with him. He was confused. I, I felt like I could relate with him. It's like, 
Hey, yeah, um, actually, hold on a second. Okay, so jump cut right there because I don't know what's going on in the month of November this year, but yay for allergies. I just took an allergy pill and it is doing nothing for me right now, but maybe it just has to get in my system. But nonetheless, though, with the turnip ball episode, I was really feeling like we were finally getting to know, you know, Ollie a little more. Like, oh, he's a bit of a goof and he's a bit of a precocious little it's hard to describe it but I like that side of him he's precocious he's goofy he's adorable and it, it just he doesn't always have to be serious all the time and Molly wasn't constantly ooing and eyeing over him and now they're pushing this and it's kind of like oh my gosh nobody cares I, and that's that's just how I feel um I like the first half better even though it was about a stupid mobile game. Um, hopefully the next episode, though, I feel like I feel like now we're done with the filler episodes, and now it's going to be straight story from here on. So I am hoping for something good from the next episode. I'm not saying these episodes are bad. Let me reiterate that. These episodes are not bad per se, but they're just... <sighs> not pushing nothing. Granted, the last episode did push the Chin and their storyline, and now we got June in the mix, and she knows about Scratch and all this good stuff. So we are getting something. It just ah, when when we get these kind of episodes, it's like I could do without this. This is who cares. <laughs> Either way, I know I'm being pessimistic. I'm not trying to be. It, it's just my first thoughts. Either way, let's talk about it down in the comments. Y'all know the drill by now. Hit the like, tickle to subscribe. Don't be texting and driving. And as Mr. Rogers always says. And I like you as you are. I do.